All right, gallons per day of sludge. Um, this was on my grade two, not word for word, or a unit for unit, can't do that. Um, but this was the one that gave me the most problems, and because uh, I'd never seen one of these problems before, and uh, it took me a little while to figure out what exactly they were asking and how I needed to go about doing it, and I ended up uh, getting it right, I think. So uh, what it is, is it's two pounds formulas, and we're gonna do the Davidson pie because I think it visually it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. So two Davidson pie formulas, one performed forwards to find pounds, and then the second will be performed backwards to find uh, gallons, uh, flow. Remember you can perform it backwards to find flow or concentration. Well, flow can be converted to gallons, so uh, that's how you figure this problem out. And so it's important to look on your cheat sheet and note that 1% equals 10,000 milligrams per liter. So this is important in this formula right here. Because, um, well actually, hold on, uh, we won't go over that right now. We'll do that one later because uh, I'm going out of step right now. So forget what I just said. Okay, so uh, if I have an influent TSS of 220, so what's coming in, and a primary effluent TSS, what's leaving my primary clarifier of 115, how much stayed in the primary clarifier? How much settled out to the bottom of my clarifier? So I got 220 going in and 115 coming out. So if I uh, subtract those two, that means 105 milligrams per liter are settling out into my clarifier. So that's the concentration I'm going to use to figure out how many pounds are settling out into my clarifier. So if I have a flow of 5 MGD times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 105 milligrams per liter should give you a pounds of 4,379 pounds per day. So that's how many pounds per day are settling out into my clarifier. But I need to figure out how many gallons per day are settling out into my clarifier. So uh, let's do the second pi formula. And now we get to use this number. So 1% equals 10,000 milligrams per liter. So the raw sludge total solids concentration is 4.3%. So if 1% is 10,000, how much is 4.3%? So 4.3% times 10,000 milligrams per liter per 1% equals 43,000 milligrams per liter. So the sludge at the bottom of my clarifier is averaging a 43,000 milligrams per liter. And this is the concentration we're going to use in our backwards pie. So go ahead and put that pounce into your pie already. So 4,379 pounds, which we got from here, remember, 4,379 pounds divided by the concentration of that sludge, which is 43,000 milligrams per liter, divided by 8.34 pounds per gallon should give you a flow, a million gallons per day. Now that's the important part. It's going to be an extremely small number because it's million gallons. And uh, unless you work at a large treatment plant, you shouldn't be getting million gallons of um, sludge settling out in your clarifier. So when I divide all those out, I go ahead and get a 0 0.0122 MGD. So that's how many million gallons are settling out per day in my clarifier. So MGD times a million, because they want it in gallons per day. So million gallons per day times a million will give me a gallons per day of 12,200. So in one day, I produce at this wastewater treatment plant 12,200 gallons per day of sludge. And actually on a grade three exam, you will have to figure this out and then figure out a little more. I had a question like this on my grade three where they wanted to figure out if I have this much settling out uh, and I need to run a pump for so many minutes and it pumps this many gallons per minute uh, and I wanna run the pump per hour, how many uh, minutes does it need to run? So uh, uh, this stuff is very helpful, uh, not only for grade ones 
and twos, but also for grade threes. If you're taking a grade three and you don't know how to do this, uh, come, or if you know somebody that took a grade three and was confused by a question like this, tell them to watch this video. Uh, it explains it here. And then there's a little more steps, which uh, I'll do in a grade three video as soon as I make it. So that's how many gallons per day uh, of raw sludge I need to um, pump per day, basically, uh, at a given time. All right, uh, organic loading to a trickling filter. Um, again, this is different from organic loading to a ponds or to a pond. Uh, organic loading to secondary treatment processes such as activated sludge or uh, an aeration or a, a trickling filter are measured um, slightly different um, than uh, you would think. Uh, it's kind of a unique way of measuring it, and uh, the formula is uh, pounds of BOD per day per thousand cubic feet of media. Uh, when I say media, uh, media in reference to a, a trickling filter um, is the rocks or the plastic or the wood chips that uh, the zoogleal mass uh, physically attaches itself to, and then uh, your uh, wastewater flows over the zoogleal mass, which consume uh, the pollutants. Uh, if I were to say media in an aeration basin, it's not, there really isn't a media, it's more of um, just your, your, the space, the cubic feet uh, of space that um, uh, your aeration basin can contain. So uh, uh, for a second, I want you to just uh, ignore this 1,000 part. Uh, and uh, when, I, when you have cubic feet, that's just a volume. Um, so ignore this 1,000 part. Uh, but for right now, but first we're going to figure out how many pounds of BOD per day I have. So I go ahead and take uh, 3.5 MGD, which is my flow, times 8.34 pounds per gallon, times 150 milligrams per liter, which is my influent BOD. And so that'll give us 4,379 pounds of BOD per day. So that's how many pounds of BOD are coming into my treatment plant and how many pounds I'm putting on my trickling filter. Now, uh, so I said ignore this 1,000 part. So if I were to ignore this 1,000 part, how would I find cubic feet of a circle? Uh, well, if you remember from my last video, the grade one video, and uh, from the cheat sheet that the state gives you, uh, the formula for um, a volume of a cylinder or a circle is a 0.785 times the diameter squared times the depth. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So 0.785 times 100 times 100, which is the diameter squared, times 6 feet, which is the depth. Feet times feet times feet gives me cubic feet. This trickling filter is 47,100 cubic feet. Now we're going to pay attention to that thousand part. So if I want to know how many thousand cubic feet I have, I need to divide this number by 1,000, and that'll tell me how many thousand cubic feet I have. So if I go ahead and take 47,100 divided by 1,000, your number should be 47.1 thousand cubic feet. Now that makes perfect sense because if you think about it, what's this, what's this number right here? This number is 47,000. So when I want to know how many thousand cubic feet I have, I have 47,000 cubic feet. So it's, it's very simple. Um, it's just a unique way that they want uh, the answer in, kind of weird, but uh, uh, that's just the way it is. So okay, so I figured out the top part of the formula, and I figured out the bottom part of the formula. Now let's just plug them all in. 4,379 pounds of BOD per day divided by 47.1 thousand cubic feet should give you 93 pounds of BOD per thousand cubic feet. And that's it. That's a, another simple problem, uh, which I don't think any of you should have trouble doing. It's just a matter of memorizing the formula and again, remembering what I need to pull from the information given. So that concludes this video. 